Welcome to this outdoor video. My name is Marie and I'm a registered early childhood educator working at the Early On at Luminous Community Services. In this video, I will be introducing a few movement songs as well as we're going to be exploring snow with the use of loose parts, specifically paper towel rolls. I hope that you will have fun in this video exploring a few materials and singing along with me. The first song that we're going to sing is about making a snowball. So get your mittens ready, your outdoor gear, and make sure that you're warm and you're comfortable. So we're going to pretend that we're going to make a snowball and we're going to grab a snow and we're going to pretend we're going to make a ball with it. It goes like this in the tune of Are You Sleeping Brother John. Make a snowball, make a snowball, throw it now. Throw it now, make a snowball, make a snowball, throw it now, throw it now. Let's sing that song one more time. Here it goes. I hope you're making your snowballs because I've already made mine. It's not really a ball, but it's, it's getting there. <laughs> Here it goes. Make a snowball, make a snowball, throw it now, throw it now. Make a snowball, make a snowball, throw it now, throw it now. One last time, let's sing that song again. Here it goes. Make a snowball, make a snowball, throw it now, throw it now. Make a snowball, make a snowball, throw it now, throw it now. Great! The other song that we're going to sing that's about snow again is called Snow is Falling Down. So we're going to grab a few snow on our hands, just like this, and we're going to sprinkle it all around. Ready? It goes like this. Snow is falling down, and we're going to splat. Snow is falling down, and splat. Falling here and falling there, falling here and falling there. Snow is falling down and splat. Wow, such a fun, fun and messy activity outdoors. Let's do that song one more time. Here it goes. So grab the snow all around you. Snow is falling down and splat. Snow is falling down and splat. Falling here and falling there, falling here and falling there. Snow is falling down and splat. Wow, such a fun one. Okay, so the next one that we're gonna do is a rhyme and it's called Snow on the Green Grass. Now, of course, the grass is already gonna be covered with snow. So what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that there's snow on the ground and we have trees around us. So you can pretend you have trees by putting your two arms up like this. And we're going to do a roof just like this. Put your hands on top of your head. And when we say not on me, just point to yourself. So it goes like this. Snow on the green grass, snow on the trees. Snow on the rooftop, but not on me. So let's do that rhyme one more time. Here it goes. Snow on the green grass. Snow on the trees. Snow on the rooftop, but not on me. Wonderful, so great. We have learned two songs and one rhyme. Okay, so now moving on to our activity. Our first activity is playing with snow, with paper towel rolls and other loose parts. Loose parts are natural or synthetic or upcycled materials such as paper towel rolls, what I have over here, some popsicle sticks over here, and all in large containers such as these ones, that children can use to carry, combine, design, control, and change within their play. 
When you are playing with your child, you can definitely introduce some adjectives or some verbs so that you can increase their vocabulary. Let me show you the different loose parts that I have. A variety of loose parts that we can offer children are paper towel rolls that has already been cut in half. We can also use short paper towel rolls and long paper towel rolls. We can use some lids, plastic lids for our base, aluminum containers to put snow in, as well as some small cups. And if you have any kitchen materials that you would like to bring outside, such as little cups or glasses, you may also use those. Another piece of loose part that children enjoy are popsicle sticks, so these are also very open-ended for children to practice their creative thinking and their problem-solving skills. And it would also be handy to have some spoon outdoors. Plastic spoon would do so that children can shape their desired outcome of their creation. Some colorful things that you can add as well are some bottles and you can fill it up with food color. Let me show you just like this. You can color the snow with some food coloring. What I have over here is a small squeeze bottle tube and we can definitely pretend that we're making our own snow cone with strawberry flavor. Or if you'd like to have, you can also put some blueberry flavor. Wow! And top it off with our own spoon. And it's ready to go. Some verbs that we can introduce our children are scooping and dumping, scoop, scoop, and dump, scoop, scoop, and dump, scoop, and dump. We can also introduce rolling by getting a short paper towel roll. We can roll on the snow just like this and we can also pound the snow and we can also press <laughs> there you go we got a big circle isn't that cool <laughs> we can do some pressing on the snow we can also squeeze the snow out squeeze this is really good for children's fine motor skills. So, introduce popsicle sticks and we can say we're mixing. We're mixing the snow in the container. And remember, you can also add your colors so that children's creativity can further be developed by adding some colors to your snow activity. Children can also learn how to add more snow, more, adding more, and we can turn it upside down, and press, and pound, and voila! So we have our big cake and we can also make a smaller cake by using a smaller container and we can definitely add color to it sprinkle some color to it Ooh, what a colorful cake there we go and we can definitely add a candle to it by adding other loose parts Our little cakes. You can also choose to use some popsicle sticks. And voila! We have our big cake and we also have our little cake. Children and parents can also insert some snow.
to create some large and small structures. When you shake the paper towel roll, you have your small structures. Children and parents can also add some leaves when you go to the park and you can gather some dried leaves or some acorns or some pine cones and you can add it to your creation just like this and be as creative as you can. For our next activity, we're going to be doing a snowball toss activity using paper towel rolls that has been cut in half and we're going to be using snow to make our snowballs. For this activity, we would need some snowballs and you can even color it. We also need some paper towel rolls that have been cut in half. So first of all, we would need to stick the paper towel rolls that have been cut in half and just stick it here in the snow just like this. So you can put a few of them a little bit further and a little, some of them a little bit closer to you. And this is a very fun and inexpensive activity that you can do at home. To begin, we need to get one of our snowballs and we're going to aim it at one of our targets over here. And we're just going to aim and toss and knock some of them down just like this. Woohoo! I got three knocked down, so I have a few more to go. And each person can have three turns if they like. And for me, I can aim it diagonally, and I'm gonna aim three, two, one, and... Oh, I only got one down. And you can re keep repeating this activity with your child over and over again, as long as they're interested. And I hope that children and parents enjoy this activity. Three, two, one! Woohoo! One more down. Children and families, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and I hope that you will be doing the activities over and over again because it's winter time and we have to enjoy being outdoors and enjoy the snow and I hope that you can also sing the songs over and over again so you can remember the lyrics. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time. Have a super awesome day. Bye!